question three is our regression question and I've already gone to my calculator and chosen mode statistics and mode two in the statistics and I put in all the data here to then find out my regression equation statistics. Here's the A value I want, the A value of 115 and the B value next to it there of 191. And so my answer for my least first regression, we've got A is 115 and B is 191. And so we've got our equation as Y equals 191X plus 115. And we're getting four marks for doing that. So take your time, check you put the right numbers in and just go through it again. Part two now says it's going to be 24 degrees. So let's throw in 24 degrees in here. 191 times by 24 plus 115. And that gives us a nice number of 4699. Um, could round it to 4700, but certainly no more than that. That's the value we want there. We then got two very interesting interpretation marks. Where you just got to use some intelligence here. Um, why would this not be suitable in February? Well, sort of February is totally different to July, isn't it? Um, temperatures probably are not the most important thing on ice cream sales in in February. So write some sentence about that. And the other one then, in other than temperature, what else affects sales? It might be that there's a holiday on or some event happening there. It might be you're talking about it's a rainy day but still warm. Anything intelligent on those sorts of lines there would get you these interpretation marks. On to the second part of the question. We've then got some other things and they've decided to look at chip and, sh chip and ship. Um, fish and chip shops instead. Um, and we've got, they've done the calculation for us already. We've got the equation here, it's going to be V this time, or Z equals 0.15V take away 1. And we need to put that on this diagram here. They've already told you it crosses here at minus 1. Let's throw in some values here. If you throw 20 in there, throwing 20 in there works out to be, I did it earlier, 20 works out to be give 2. So let's get there. And if I throw 40 in there, throwing 40 in there, gives me a total of five. And of course, it's a nice straight line. Interestingly, on the mark scheme, they did want it with a ruler. If it was freehand, you weren't getting the mark for that. So there's your straight line there for that one. The second one, you've got another one. It's got an intercept of five here. So I'm going to put the five up there. And it's got a gradient of 0 0.04. Let's check one of them. Let's do 10 times by minus 0 0.4 plus the five. And that tells us it's crossing down here at 1. Um, we could try some more values as well to check it. But we've got that straight line there going downwards for that. Three marks for that. Make sure you do use a ruler.